Developing now at 10, we start with an Odessa family who is picking up the pieces tonight after a fire damaged their home earlier today. The family says flames ignited inside of a backyard shed before spreading to their home. That fire happened this morning around 7 on Glenda Avenue, close to Andrews Highway and 57th in Odessa. Good evening, I'm Rob Took. Tonight, that family is now asking the community for help. And ABC Big Two's Avi Cargloth is joining us live from their home tonight. Avi, you sat down with them to talk about the next steps forward. Yeah, thankfully, nobody was injured in the fire. Everyone made it out safely. That's all good. Still, the family lost some important items in the fire today that they'll need help to replace. We just jumped out of bed out of nowhere. Gracie Garcia and her family have lived at 5611 Glenda Avenue for three years. The family has a lot of mouths to feed between seven people, three turtles, three birds, and seven dogs. This morning, one of those family members served as a distressing alarm clock. We heard my son yelling, my oldest son was yelling. Everybody was asleep that the house was on fire. He said the shed, so we're thinking it was our next door neighbor and I walk outside and it's ours. So we run in there, we get all my kids up and we come outside to get my animals out and we just call 911. Garcia said Odessa Fire and Rescue cited an electrical shortage in their shed as the cause of the fire, which spread to the back of the house. The family lost new windows that hadn't been put up yet, children's bed mattresses, pots and pans, and their Christmas tree. However, they didn't lose what was most important. That's, that's what I'm grateful for, that me, my kids, my husband, we're all okay. We're all healthy, my, my animals are fine. I mean, there is no price on that. The family needs help from the community, specifically with replacing their windows and mattresses. While the fire has created needs for the family to address, it has also given Garcia some perspective on her community and what matters to her the most. You know, I'm very grateful uh, for the neighbors as well that they came out, you know, calls, they called the 911 before we even did. You know, and I appreciate that, but what I learned from this is life is short. We're here today, tomorrow we don't know. And well, since the house has no electricity, the family will be staying with other relatives for now. If you want to help the family out, we'll be sharing details on yourbasin.com. Reporting live in Odessa, Avi Kargloth, ABC Big 2 News.